Close your legs to marry men, hooker. Close I'm your legs to marry men. Close your legs to marry men, trash box. Close your legs to marry men, trash box. What's up, my Fina Love Sisters Fina D coming to you all from Fina Tina News. In the world, yeah. I'm already out here a uh, husband stealer, and it's just too much. And ain't nobody out here stealing husbands, are they? I, I would so. never. There's too many going around, honey. It's a lot of single people out here. Last night, I saw a lot of single people in the building mm -hmm. last night. So, um, I don't think it's nobody want to steal nobody else's problems. I can tell you that, honey. <laughs> 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 Nobody wants to nobody else's problems, honey. You already know. I told you that's going to be her intro going forward. Even if she gets married to this man after his divorce from his wife is finalized, that will be her intro. Well, Nene Leakes was a guest host on The Breakfast Club with DJ Envy and Charlamagne. Now, she helped co-host the entire show. So she was on there for over an hour. But you already know, you know I cover a lot of the Real Housewives franchise you know different shows and things like that so those are the segments that i'm going to focus on doing nini hosting duty no worries this is the final video on nini leaks hosting the breakfast club okay but since i have talked about everything else real housewives related during her hosting duties why not cover this last segment so during the segment where Nene called Giselle and Robin talentless and starless and then went on this whole famous and known rant and did not want to admit that Candy Burrs was famous, you know, basically it had to be repeated a few times before she said, okay, yeah, sure, I'll give it a candy and then went on to shade the rest of the housewives that's left on the franchise basically including kenya moore in there as if kenya moore wasn't kenya moore before we knew who anini leaks was so during that segment ebony k williams name came up and nini basically hit her with the i don't know her okay so when ebony was on the breakfast club earlier today they played that clip and she clapped back i do not want to summarize it and miss anything important so please put me on hold click the very first link in the description below it will take you to that segment of the breakfast club interview i want you to hear everything she had to say how nini was the one who reached out to her on instagram oh you don't know me but you reach out to me now there's a difference between knowing somebody on that level someone asking you if you know them like do you know them know them are you friends with them that's not what the question was the way how she said i don't know her was almost like i don't know her period like i've never heard of that name i don't even know she exists that's how she came off so for you to pretend like you don't even know that someone exists yet you were the one who contacted them and then when they provided you their phone number you called them and had a long conversation with them but then go on a breakfast club and say i don't know her as if you've never heard of her name before so ebony clapped back i was the first black woman on my franchise okay but i want you all to hear it from ebony herself she basically called nanny a liar and the list goes on and on she did not say anything that we don't already know. So put me on pause, go and watch that video and come back. Let's talk about it. If you missed the other three videos that I did earlier, I have included all of those links in the description below. In one of those videos that I posted, I said what I respect the most about Kenya is that even if she's not here for you, she will still give you credit if it's necessary because she is not a hater. And that's exactly what Ebony did. Even though Nene pretended like she never met Ebony, she didn't know her and all of that, at the end of what she had to say, she still gave Nene credit and she still agreed with Nene that yes, absolutely, there are famous people and then there are people who are known. 
But please remember that before this platform called Bravo, no one knew who you were. Also stop discrediting women, especially black women who worked extremely hard for their careers to get to where they are. Speaking of Candy and Kenya Moore, who are a part of history and are stars and are famous, stop discrediting them just because you are a hater. Nini left this comment on one of the blog pages that reposted the clip and she basically wrote, hey Ebony, call me. I mean, what else can you write or say when someone basically responded that way, okay? Classy read, nothing malicious, and then also showed receipt that, okay, Miss Famous, you reach out to me. So that's that and of course there are more comments on the screen but i will not be reading them because i've been reading social media reaction all day but i think even though i said i wasn't going to post this video it's only fitting to end this whole nini leaks segment with this video of nini being a walking contradiction because that's exactly what she just did with ebony i don't know her but yet you are in her dms and i will say this again before i end it don't get me wrong, I know exactly what it means to say you don't know somebody, meaning, yeah, I know who they are, but I don't know them, like, personally. But that's not how it came off the way how Nini said it. But anyways, like I said, it's not that deep. I'm simply just closing the chapter, do all of the little segments I've done on Nini Leaks being on The Breakfast Club. Let's get into video of different clips of Nini being a walking contradiction for those of you who have already seen this you can skip this part but here you go i'm wishing all of you well and take care uh i think i have not been offered a show of my own if you're speaking of me and my family which we have a lot of excitement over here um i don't know uh i think me not having my own show has been due to um certain people not wanting me to have a show I have been offered spinoffs before so I don't need anybody to teach me how to get a spinoff I know how to get a spinoff I've been doing spinoff and scripted shows in Broadway before a lot of you have uh, I think I have not been offered a show of my own if you're speaking of me and my family which we have a lot of excitement over here I have been offered spinoffs before so I don't need anybody to teach me how to get a spinoff I know how to get a spinoff I've been doing spinoff and scripted shows in Broadway before a lot of you have And we also show our family, Tamar. We also show our family and our relationship. Yeah, you do. You do. And mm -hmm. But do you think you could show a... You, you think you could have like a Nene spinoff show and show your whole fam? That's going to give you a No, I, I wouldn't want to do that. I don't want to have a Nene spinoff show and show my whole family. Yeah, That's no. not... That wouldn't work for me. That's not what I want to do. That's not um, what I want to do either. I don't want to do... You know, I will be exposing my family in ways that I'm not sure that I want to do that. Um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I've been doing this for so long. I can handle it. I can take it. I got tough skin. I realize the bloggers are going to say what they want to say. I realize that people are going to make up stories. I get it. I get it now. They're first coming into it, I didn't get it. But I get it now. So just, right. just you know, just fuck with me. But I don't know if I'm going to have you fucking with my kids. Or not. Yeah, yeah, I don't really have a lot of time. And it's yeah. not even really the bloggers for me. It's just the material that's yeah. being put out there that I don't really yeah. agree with. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, but, but, but Tamar, that's how it goes. You get it, right? I hate it. I absolutely yeah. hate it. Uh, I think I have not been offered a show of my own. If you're speaking of me and my family, which we have a lot of excitement over here. You think you could show a you, you think you could have like a Nene spinoff show and show your whole fam? That's going to give you a No, I, I wouldn't want to do that. I don't want to have a Nene spinoff show and show my whole family. Yeah, That's no. not, that wouldn't work for me. That's not what I want to do. You and candy are y'all cool you know what i i don't i've never had a problem with candy before we've always been oil and water when i say oil and water i mean that we just ain't never been the same kind of girls yeah. like she's never been the, my type of girl that i would hang out with you know what i'm saying and i probably ain't never been the type of girl that she would hang out with you get what i'm saying i do but as far as that 
for us anything else, it's always, you know, we work well together. We get how each other are. And I always thought it was some respect there because it's like we see each other. So I got it. We got some respect for each other. Cool. Recently, she was out saying a lot of things. I'm not exactly sure why, because I never said anything about her. Candy just can't be on my side. For I have to say, I kind of sided with um, Nene on she this. She was the one who, who was the head of, they wanted to all ice me out of this season. All of them had a pack that none of them would talk what to me. Up? How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. Nene could never, ever say Nene was right about I this. I heard Nene say that she feels like um, a lot of the girls have held grudges, grudges with her longer than they've held with other people that she felt like has done more. With that point, I can't agree with that. News. Nene is going on tour with me. Yeah. She is going to be the host of the tour. Candy, you sympathized with Nene. Can you understand why that would be confusing to some people like Sheree because of what you went through last year? Because of what you went through last year? Yeah, comedians, a lot of times they do say inappropriate things. So that's why I just didn't take it the same. Jeez, girl, what are you doing over there? Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. I love, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're ready to post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.